Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Did you know that the real estate market is a $200 trillion industry and it's growing every year? Whether you're looking to supplement your income or start a new venture, diving into real estate can be incredibly rewarding. In today's video, we're gonna explore the seven best real estate side hustle ideas. And these ideas can help you tap into this booming market. From house hacking to vacation rentals to much, much more, there's something for everyone. So let's get started and discover how you can make the most of the opportunities that you have in real estate. Hey there, Sean with The Modest Wallet. If real estate is on your mind, then you have definitely come to the right place. Now, currently the real estate market is in a pretty tough situation for many parts of the world, but there are still some opportunities out there to get a taste of it without making it your full-time job yet. Who knows though, your side hustle could turn into your full-time job eventually, so I'll quit talking and get into the seven best real estate side hustle ideas. First is REIT investing. A REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust, is a private or publicly traded company that owns, operates, and or finances real estate that generates income. People can invest in REITs in a variety of ways. Now, most are publicly traded companies listed on a stock exchange like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, so investors can easily purchase a fraction of the entity that holds the properties via that stock exchange. Investors can also access publicly traded REITs by purchasing REIT exchange traded funds, ETFs, or even mutual funds. Investing in REITs can be a great side hustle as it boasts the incredible potential to generate passive, even recurring income, as well as substantial dividends. High yield REITs are even more lucrative as they're known to provide their investors with dividends that pay 7% or more, typically monthly or quarterly. Now these REITs are typically found in the commercial real estate, mortgage, and the healthcare sectors. Second on the list is real estate crowdfunding. Real estate crowdfunding involves the pooling of money within a group of investors to fund real estate projects that will turn a profit, which is then divided among the group. This is a great way for people who may not have all of the capital necessary to purchase property to get involved in real estate and this incredible income potential that it has to offer. It does come with its own set of risks though. Projects can fall through, the market can take a downturn, and money can just be lost. Always be prepared for the worst while hoping for the best. Real estate crowdfunding sites are a great way to get started with this side hustle, so keep in mind that some of these sites do require investors to be accredited. If you're not an accredited investor, you should check out these platforms which accept non-accredited investors. Places like Fundrise, which I've done a video on, Realty Mogul, Roofstock, Ground Floor, and Diversity Fund. As I did already mention, if you wanna learn more about these sites, check out other videos specifically on some of these sites that I just mentioned. Next on the list is bird dogging. Now, I've heard of the brand Bird Dog, but didn't actually know what it was until now. A bird dog in the context of real estate is someone who searches for undervalued properties and good investment opportunities. They can even exchange this information with house hunters, flippers, and real estate agents for a standard fee or a portion of the profits if an agreement has been made. Income potential for a real estate bird dog will depend largely on market conditions, but also on their ability to really network within the industry to make those important connections and to eventually build a great reputation. Now the great thing about this real estate side hustle is the low risk and low commitment, allowing you to work on it part-time if you prefer, or you can even do it full-time eventually. The process now is rather simple. To get started, you should build up your network with real estate agents and other real estate professionals. Then you should have a clear understanding of the legal restrictions or ramifications of bird dogging in your local area. Once you determine you are allowed to bird dog and define your compensation strategy, it's time to find leads. You can find leads using the MLS, foreclosure auctions, trustee sales, real estate vents, the list goes on. After finding these viable leads, the last step is to sell the deal or opportunity to investors. Remember that you can only make money once the investor decides to purchase the property. Fourth on the list is being a part-time real estate agent. Getting your realtor's license does not mean you have to jump into real estate as a full-time agent. Working your way into the industry by doing a few showings in your free time on the weekend is a great way to get started. Finding clients and closing deals will obviously still take a real investment of time and effort, but going at it from a part-time standpoint is a great way to mitigate that pressure and ease into this side hustle. Now there are some basic steps to becoming a part-time real estate agent. So step one, 
get your real estate license. Step two, join a real estate brokerage firm. Step three, find ways to generate leads. Step four, find a schedule that's gonna work for you. Step five, plan your marketing strategy. And step six, you're gonna profit. Step six is key. So this side hustle is definitely scalable and you can always pursue a full-time career. The national average for part-time real estate agent salary is $58,145 a year or $28 an hour. So not bad for working part-time. Fifth on the list is being a home inspector. Home inspectors are hired to do a thorough visual inspection of homes before they are approved to be listed. They arrive on site and inspect both exterior and interior aspects of the property, including things like roofing and chimneys, gutters and downspouts, structural and foundational components, ventilation and HVAC systems, fireplaces and fuel burning appliances, insulation, ventilation, and unfinished areas. Now, one thing to note is that home inspectors must have the proper licensing and credentials to properly operate. Sixth on the list of the seven best real estate side hustle ideas is real estate photography and videography. Photography first, whether you are a professional photographer or someone with a good eye for photography and have the will to make some extra cash, real estate photography is a great side hustle option. Sellers that are preparing a home for a sale almost always need photography services, advertisements, online listings, and real estate catalogs. Taking some of your spare time to provide photography services for local real estate agents and maybe organizations can be a great way to make some extra money on the side. If you're just starting out a photography real estate business side hustle, you could easily charge anywhere between $70 to $90 for 15 to 20 photos to get some experience under your belt. Of course, now your rates may have to be adjusted based on the market that you're living in. Like photography services, videography has become just as important for the process of selling a house on the public market. Videographers are paid to shoot and develop property films or virtual tours. They're essentially a collection of different video clips that have been strategically taken around the home and turned into a video presentation. Virtual tours are a great way for sellers to showcase their home and all of its spaces in a nicely composed video that can be featured online to attract attention and allow potential buyers to take an initial look at the house on their own time. So similar to the rate for photography, videographers could charge anywhere between $150 to $200 for aerial photos and $200 to $350 for 360 tours and walkthrough videos. Seventh and final on the list is house hacking. House hacking is the practice of buying real estate with the intention of strategically dividing the property into multiple units that can be rented while you live on one side for free. House hacking is a great way to earn some substantial supplemental income that is consistent as well as a great way to really offset costs for yourself at the same time. So there's a variety of property types that you can use for house hacking purposes. The most common type of properties are duplex units, but you can also use triplex spare bedrooms of a single home, a basement or even on-site cottages, garage apartments, mobile homes or rental RVs, and even renting parking spaces. Beyond cash flow, one of the main benefits of house hacking is that it can allow you to access better financing mortgage rates for the property that you intend to buy. This is because the property is categorized as owner occupied since you're living in one of these units. Not a bad gig. The real estate industry is constantly growing and that comes with opportunities for people to get involved and start earning supplemental income. In this video, we have highlighted the seven best real estate side hustle ideas that can provide a way to make some extra cash. From reinvesting, house hacking and crowdfunding to even bird dogging, real estate photography and so much more, the options are numerous. In pretty much every scenario, you don't need a lot of money to get started. We hope you've learned everything you need to know about real estate side hustles and can use that knowledge to decide which hustle is best for you. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found some value in this video. You'll smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help us out. It's free along with subscribing, which is also free. And make sure you see us, find us for more Money Made Simple videos. I'll see you in the next video.